One of the most challenging concepts often for students to understand is rhythmic value and time signatures. It just looks like a lot of stuff at the beginning of a song or in a song, but you don't always quite understand it. So let's take a look at that for a moment. We know that certain symbols represent how long you intone or hold the note, whether you're singing it or playing it on the instrument. So we know that a whole note is worth four pulses or four beats, and a half note is worth two, and a quarter note is worth one, right? So gosh, Mr. Siegel, what does this all mean? Well, I like to think of measures of music kind of like a container, if you will, okay? If we said that a container, a glass, let's say, can only hold four ounces and that we have to always fill the container completely. It has to be exactly four. Can't be less, can't be more. That's kind of our rule. Then a measure is a container that holds music, rhythmic values. So let's say I put a four, four here. That means there's four pulses. That's just a pulse symbol per measure. Mm, 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 mm. And whatever I put in here of rhythmic value has to equal four. I've got to fill the measure. Now that could be a note or two notes. Let's say it's a quarter note and a half note. We know that those will equal three. Maybe I want a pulse or a beat of a rest. So I put a rest in there. So four beats per measure or four pulses per measure and the quarter note gets the pulse. Most of the time signatures that you will usually see have that four on the bottom. Two, four, 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 or three, four. So most time signatures are either two beats or two pulses per measure or three. There are some other wild and crazy sophisticated time signatures we really don't sing in them very much. We don't sing in the other familiar or common time signature anymore, which is called 6-8. And 6-8 means that there are six beats per measure, but the eighth note gets the pulse. Now the eighth note, of course, is worth half a beat. So, in a sense, we have six pulses, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's how we would count it. Sea shanties from old, you know, uh, seafaring movies and songs. Uh, if you think of like Pirates of the Caribbean, music like that often is in 6-8. Other than that, most of contemporary popular music is in 4-4, and you may occasionally encounter music in 2-4 or 3-4. But again, the idea is measures of music are containers, so to speak, for music. They hold the total rhythmic value. I can't go over, I can't put five beats in this measure, and if I only have three, it's incomplete. So measures are simply an organizational tool, okay? If I wrote music and I didn't have measures, it would be extremely difficult for our eyes to see, recognize, and interpret a whole bunch of music that just kind of goes on and on and doesn't have any kind of separation or organization to let our eyes get a sense of what the music is about, okay? When you look at all this stuff I just wrote, it's rather confusing, okay? But if I were to work in measures and separate them into separate equal containers, then it would make sense. Just written like this, it kind of is confusing to the human eye. One of the reasons that we have measures in music, it's an organizational structure. 
I hope that explains a little bit about time signatures, rhythmic values, and measures. That way when you're following your music and you're feeling the pulse and feeling the beat, you'll understand why and you'll understand why the music is written the way it is.